What's up guys, it's your boy Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new vlog. We're here in Las Vegas. Today we're doing the $500 Hype Beast Outfit Challenge. But before we can do anything related to being a Hype Beast, we gotta grab some lunch. This is the biggest golden arch I've seen in my entire life. We got McDonald's, we got Panda Express, we got Chipotle. It's gonna be a good lunch. Your boy ended up getting a uh, bowl from Chipotle. I have McDonald's all the time, so I figured I'd switch it up a little bit, but I'm probably gonna have McDonald's several times on this trip in the USA. Tim's trying out that new lacing style, you know, where you have it super loose and your shoe's about to fall off, but can't he's not feeling it. He can't do it, so he's gonna do it the regular way, laced up like this. So this is what happens when you want to hold your girl's hand, but she's occupied with ice cream. It's been like this for 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes. That is one really cool looking hotel or casino. I wonder how many people can actually sleep in there. But the fashion show mall is right over there. You guys can see it. It sort of looks like a UFO. Just took this in, but my Ultra Boost have like the exact same laces as Tim's Turtle Doves. Hey! Detour before we get to the fashion show mall. We found this place called the Wynn Hotel. It's a casino as well. And there's a bunch of designer stores inside of here. They got Givenchy on the one side, Montclair on the other. They got Louis Vuitton and a whole bunch of other stuff here. I'm probably not gonna buy anything designer today. We're shopping for high piece stuff, but maybe a different day. I had no idea that Givenchy had their own sock shoe. This is pretty cool. They also got these high top Givenchy sneakers. I think these are the Tysons. I used to have a royal colorway. I like these a lot. Sort of reminds me of the brand new Air Jordan 3 Koreas too, actually. Look how luxurious this place is. Oh my gosh, this is, look at the carpet though. Look at the carpet, mm, mm, mm. Givenchy was pretty dope. They had a couple of leather jackets and bomber jackets that I really liked, but the prices were, you know, not sneaker talk friendly. 3.1K, 3.4K US. So I think I found my favorite thing in this entire like shopping center. Check this out. This right here, man. This Ferris wheel. This is so dope, but you can't even ride it. It's just, it's just here for display. So we just made it into Fashion Show Mall right now. We have the mall directory in front of us. Finally going to the first store in the mall I wanna actually go to, Urban Outfitters. I think we're gonna pick up some pieces here for the $500 High Beast Outfit Challenge. I'm hoping they have something good. Usually Urban Outfitters have some pretty good clothing. They have a lot of different brands. So I finally found the men's section in the very back of the store and ooh. This Adidas skateboarding t-shirt looks pretty cool. It's in this like light red with white. I have a shirt just like this, so probably not gonna cop this. Dang, you know, this Adidas section has a bunch of really dope clothing. We got this cool like blue cut and sew sweater. I love this thing, really loud. And if you're a fan of the off-white Nike 10 collection and you don't like these, I think you're just a hype beast. Fila's been making a comeback. I actually saw that they just put out a press release that they're doing a collaboration with Pokemon for some Pokemon shoes, so that's gonna be pretty dope. And I think Fila's actually doing a collaboration with vape which is even better what on earth kind of sunglasses are these found some pretty dope bomber jackets right here it's like a half black half red on the sleeves and if you flip it around it's reversible and it becomes like this orange and yellow and black bomber jacket we're done at urban outfitters there really wasn't anything i wanted so we're gonna keep it moving this feel like 32 with the boot cross zipper red and blue slurs to my brain freeze like so the next store we're gonna check out is PacSun in the mall. Hopefully they have something good. If not, we're gonna head over to Urban Necessities. So I found some Tommy for Tim. But Tim, I found your favorite piece of clothing you can buy here. They got the white and red guest logo tee. Okay, okay. Yo, PacSun reaching out here, trying to take a meme and make it into a fashionable, like, aesthetic shirt right here. Come on now, I need to see the meme face, not, not this roses. This is lit. They got some Dragon Ball shirts right here. We got some Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, okay. Check out this key master right at the front of the store. They got the Chanel NMDs. They got the DJ Khaled 3s. They got some uh, Air Max off-white collabs. The Levi's 4s. Those 3D printed or 4D printed um, Adidas Futurecraft, those are really dope. Just walked in front of the store. We got the foam posits. We got some Air Force Ones at the front of the store. We got some of these expensive vans. These aren't real vans. The name of these is the Revenge of the Storm. 
I uh, I don't understand why you would pay so much for these. This is pretty cool. They got the Murakami van. And then here's a look at some of the Air Forces they got. I really, really like these just-ons. I might have to grab a pair for today's challenge. I actually went to my college graduation wearing these sneakers. That's how much of a sneakerhead I am. But as I mentioned at the start of the video, we have a budget of 500 US dollars for the full outfit. I'm probably gonna spend around 320 to 350 on the sneakers here, and then we'll save the rest of the money for the rest of the outfit. Damn, these look nice with the Gucci vibes right here, black and green. They also got them in the white and green colorway as well. Tim, what OVO shoes do you have? Because I know you have a couple, I have right? 12s. I got rid of the 10s because they were too creased. Mm -hmm. When I bought them, I bought them used. But, yeah. You know, your boy might have to, have to come again. We'll see. With the 10s here? I love the 12s. I like the black 12s and the white 12s. I'm a bigger fan of the 12s than the 10s. And I think the 8s, I'm not too big of a fan of the 8s myself. You don't see these very often. I think these are the Lakers Air Jordan 6. Poro 6s. These things are beautiful and loud. They have a worn pair of size 8, right but here. I'm going to see if they have a pair of my size right now. Yo, it turns out that they have a size 10 worn for $220. I might have to check that out. That's actually really, really good for this shoe. Massive size 14 uh, black Supreme Fives right here. Look at how big the shoe is compared to my face. Oh my gosh. Shattered backboard ones and oh my gosh, the leather quality. That is the one or two words that everyone talks about when they see the shattered backboard ones. The leather quality and the leather quality, man, is nice. These are going for $650. Bape NMD R1s. Dude, these are fresh, but they're going for $1,000. Yeah, I got those ones. I got those at home. I just don't wear them that much these days. I'm not a high beast now, but you are, and that's why you're looking at them right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, bro. They got all these Pharrell NMDs right here. The Trail Runners, the Tennis Hues. They got the OG colorways, too. The blue, the yellow, the, the orange, the green, the red, the blacks. All these shoes easily break the budget when it comes to the Hype Beast Outfit Challenge. Tim is trying out the Bape NMDs right here. How do they feel, Tim? Oh, man, I'm tempted, bro. I'm super tempted, bro. Especially since this is probably going to be the last time we come for a to Vegas for a while, man. It's true. <laughs> it tastes like sweat dripping, drunk kisses, smudge lipstick, dumb water. The fight's going crazy. Booty shorts, bikini tops. Feel the thirst, it's really hot. Damn myself, Millie Rock. Pray a little wind, bless up the city block. Good girl. 238.15. Is it authentic money though, bro? <laughs> uh, give me a second. <laughs> One happy guy right now just got a brand new pair of Jordan 6s. Came out very new. They were worn like once, maybe max, but I saved a lot of money. 220 US dollars for these 6s. So we're gonna have to base the outfit around these sneakers. Next up, we're heading over to Just Win Sneaker Shop, and I just got some pretty dope news on Instagram. I've been DMing one guy, and so I'm gonna be getting some Babe sneakers when I'm back home in Toronto. Really, really looking forward to those. Time 975 with Mike P and Lady G. So we just arrived at this new shopping area. It's a cool little plaza. There's a lot of stores and uh, it's all like outdoorsy as well. So the weather's perfect out here in Las Vegas. It feels so good to not be in the snow in Canada right now. We're walking over to Just Win store right now. I'm gonna check it out for the first time. And I've actually never met Just Win before, so this will be the first time. Capital Sneaker Shop, here we go. Hey, Christian. Nice to meet you, boy. Nice to meet you. All right, so we just had some pretty dope talks with Blake Just Win, and a really cool guy, really humble guy. First time meeting him, but now, now I wanna do some sneaker shopping and looking around the store, and there's a pair of sneakers that caught my eye, but they're not my size. These right here, these beautiful Just On Air Force Ones, they have size 11 and a half, but I'm a size 10 or nine and a half, and they're going for 180. That's an absolute steal. That's below retail, man. They also got the Air Force One Ricardo T-Skis, but a bit too big for me, so I'm gonna keep looking around the store. Maybe they got something. Here's a look at one of the cabinets that they got on the left side. You got a bunch of the really dope Air Jordan Ones here. Got the Yeezys, got the LeBrons, got some PlayStation sneakers up there, and the Cos. Some of 
the clothing. They have a bunch of Supremes, some babes, some antisocial social clothes. So there might be something I can get for this high beast outfit. We do have 280 more dollars for the budget. I like this shirt right here. It has this girl with a Supreme necklace. And uh, yeah, it's $80. Not too bad. Might have to cop. I could potentially get one of these Supreme hoodies as well because they're $250. More expensive than the Jordans I bought today, but I'd still be under budget. What's this one here? $250. Looks pretty cool. I have this right here, the uh, yellow college logo sweater back at the hotel. They want $350 for it here. And I have no idea what brand this is. Dombre Dom Belle from Montreal. This looks really, really cool though. Sort of has the Givenchy vibes with a shark face on it. Okay, okay. And then it appears they also have their own house brand here as well, which is pretty cool. Capital, capital, capital. And oh, what the heck? <laughs> Look at this meme shirt. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. All right, so I decided what shirt I'm gonna get, so I'm gonna pick it up right now and I'll show you guys what it is later in the video. Thank you very much, appreciate it, man. Later. All right, so we're just leaving Capitol right now. We're gonna have a little fun time tonight at the movies, I think. We're gonna see the brand new uh, Pacific Rim. My girlfriend is upset with me. Not looking too good, guys, not looking good. We just finished the movies, we watched Pacific Rim 2, the sequel, and I gotta say, it was amazing. Definitely gonna go watch the first one with my girlfriend when I have time to. We're here at the bowling alley now inside of this little center. So I feel bad for Tim right now, because Tim can't get a drink, because he's not 21. He's not even allowed to get water without alcohol. That's what the rules are here in Las Vegas. How do you feel, Tim? How does that make you feel? I feel young, but that's just how you know I'm killing it, son! Today we are getting the final piece for this $500 Hype Beast outfit challenge. Of course, we got the t-shirt already. That was $80. We also got the sneakers down below. These Jordan 6s were $220, which was an absolute steal. We have $200 left to get some pants. Now, I'm not too sure where exactly I'm gonna get some Hype Beast pants. I've heard Sun is pretty good. They've been putting out some decent stuff recently, so I think we're gonna head over there. Yo, so we're inside of this department store right now, and check this out. They got some Gucci for the kids right here. Tim's like checking it out right now. He's like, I might have to cop for my dog. I'm I have to, have bro. One day. No, I've been losing weight. That's the thing, so I have to shop in the mm. kids section now. Facts. You know? Just like this? You can't exactly, squeeze that bro. today. You're not yeah. gonna, no, not today. Not today. This right here, though. Mercedes? Check it out, dog. This is lit. And there's a unicorn too, but yo, this Mercedes. My new whip. Just getting the pack sun right now. We were here the other day, couldn't find much, but we're gonna try and grab some pants here that are decent at least. So here is Pac Sun's denim joggers and chino section right here. Looking for some pants. Maybe something with zippers. Maybe these. I like the cargo pants I'm wearing right now with the fit, so I'm hoping I can maybe find some cargo pants. We do got some slim denim right here. So I'm gonna be going with these right here, these black like jogger chinos with the zippers on the bottom. We got the long drawstrings going down the center as well with that fear of God sort of aesthetic. I'm gonna try this on in the change room and see if it's any good. I also got this collection here, the MRCLA by Mr. Completely. I recognize the name, I'm not too sure what from though. I think Jacob Keller has talked about Mr. Completely a little bit, but here's the denim that they have right here. It's pretty steep, $125 US. It's a little, little wild though with like this kind of splatter camouflage kind of print going on. I think the sneakers I'm already wearing and the shirt is loud enough as it is. So I think it might be better to go with just the black pair of bottoms that are simple. Okay, so we're inside the change room right now. Here's my fit right now with the cargo pants from Stone Island, but the Stone Island pants make it out of budget for sure. So let's throw on these packs on pants for like 55 dollars and see how the fit ends up looking. Bam, here is the outfit with the PacSun pants. It is on the skinnier side. You guys can see it stacks pretty well. I do prefer my cargo pants. I like the looser fit, especially with Jordan's bulky, like the Jordan 6. But we're gonna cop these for the outfit. So these pants are about 55 US dollars, I believe. So we're gonna cash out real quick. And just so you guys know, I really don't need these pants at all. So we're probably gonna give them away. So if you want a giveaway for these PacSun pants, let's get this video to 600 thumbs up and then uh, yeah, we'll do our first streetwear giveaway on the channel. And if that 
that goes well, we'll do a couple more and more outfit challenges like this if you guys want them. So let's cash out and I'll meet you guys outside. What's up, man? Hey. Is this for you, man? Finally done at Paxson. I was in line for like 20 minutes because he was processing a return at the cash register. But I ended up getting a second pair of pants that doesn't really go with the outfit. So make sure you guys watch tomorrow's vlog if you guys want to learn how you can win a free pair of Paxson pants that are pretty dope. I'm going to wear them for one outfit on Instagram. We're going to head back to the hotel and I'll show you guys the full outfit. Back at the hotel and I'm now going to show you guys the $500 high beast outfit now we were under budget which was a very very good thing let's start off with the t-shirt so the t-shirt is a supreme t-shirt right here we copped it for $80 at capital sneaker shop next up moving down to the pants the pants are a pair of pack sun chino leg joggers with some zippers down at the ankles on the inside right here and these came to 55 US dollars they fit pretty comfortably I'm pretty happy with the fit 55 US dollars and buy one get one half price you really can't go wrong with that footwear down below we got a pair of Air Jordan 6 Toros. These came out a couple years ago when I first started really getting into sneakers and uh, I'm very happy with these shoes. We picked them up for 220 US dollars, which means we spent $355 before tax on this outfit. Ideally, I wish I could have gotten like a black bomber jacket or a black hoodie to go with this outfit because I do find that the red on red is a bit, bit loud. So let me throw on a bomber that I actually own just to show you guys what that would look like. This right here is a black bomber by Xanero. I picked it up a couple of years ago. I'm sure you can find something pretty similar or cheap at somewhere like H&M. So here is what it looks like with the full fit. As you guys can see, it definitely helps tone down the fit because the red on red is a bit matchy matchy. But yeah, here's the fit. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. And if you guys want more outfit challenges, let me know what budget and where I should go next. And if I take your idea, I will give you a shout out and I'll probably give you a gift card to that store. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, San Antonio Vlogs with Legit Vlogs coming soon. It's going to be lit. Peace.